How to get certified in 2018. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach, and today I'm gonna to tell you how you can get certified in 2018. And I'm gonna give you the number one pro tip right now, and after that, you can just leave this video because it doesn't matter. The number one pro tip to get certified in 2018, just do it. No, all kidding aside, besides you just do it, because yeah, just do it. Just go out and rock that stuff, seriously, because I have faith in everybody. If you guys study, and that's the pro tip, just study. Study, study, study. I'm not gonna stress that enough. I'm not gonna keep focusing on that because that is literally the best thing that you can do is study. Lab every day, as Duan Lightfoot would say, lab every single day. Study, go out, sign up for IT Pro TV, sign up for whoever you need to, and take courses, and follow along, and do it every single day. Because unless you're doing it every single day, you're not gonna get certified. Because it, honestly, it takes a lot of due diligence on your part to get certified in any certification. I don't care who you are. I'm trying to help you guys who are brand new to IT, and that's what this channel is all about. So if you're watching this and you're not brand new to IT, and this, this really isn't for you, you guys have to study every single day. You might take a break one day, that's fine. I totally get it. Take a break, you gotta take a break. But you gotta be doing something. You should be doing something. You should be listening to something, st studying in some way, reading a book, watching a YouTube channel, watching videos, watching courses, something to keep you going to keep you down that path to get certified. Because if you're not doing any of that, it's gonna be really hard. I'm not gonna lie, it is really gonna be hard. So that's pro tip, numero uno, keep studying. The second thing that I kinda wanted to focus on though, in this video, because I get asked this all the time. Seriously, like this is a question that I get all the time. What certification should I get? Zach, what certification should I get? I have no freaking idea what certification you should get. That is the most random, off-the-wall question you could possibly ask me. That is literally what the question is. What certification should I get? I have no idea what certification you should get. What interests you? You have to find out what interests you. What do you like about IT? What is it that you like about IT? That's what you have to figure out. I can't figure that out for you. Do you like networking? Do you like security? Do you like databases? Do you like web? Do you like mobile? Do you like any type of development? That's what you have to figure out. You have to do the research. I can't tell you what you like. And even if I could tell you, I could tell you what I like, that's not gonna be what you like. So you can't listen to me on what I like because it's not gonna be what you like. And I could tell you what makes the most money, but it might not be what you like. You know, so do your research and find out what you like. And then once you find out what area in IT you like, networking, web, development, databases, security, whatever that case may be, CompTIA makes a roadmap. And I'll link to that. I'll show you guys that right now. This roadmap is perfect. It'll show you guys all the certifications from start to finish to literally the most, to the expert certifications. So the beginner certifications, as you can see, to the expert certifications. And that'll give you the perfect guideline of everything that you need to do. So when you figure out what it is that you wanna do, if you want to be in networking, for instance, and that's just a really easy one to go to, you can look up, you know, beginner certification for networking, right? And Google will tell you that very easily. And it's gonna say like Network Plus or CSENT, you know? Those are really the beginner certifications for networking, as far as I'm concerned. But you can go to this roadmap and it'll show you, you're like, okay, networking, okay, here we go. Um, here's the CSENT and the beginner novice, perfect. Then you can follow along, follow the path. It's gonna show you all the certifications along the path to networking. So it's perfect, it's a perfect uh, path to follow to get you to where you wanna be in a networking career. So do that with any other field that you're interested in IT and you'll figure out how to get certified, because if you don't know what it is you're interested in, you don't know how to get certified. 